toute la vie de la F1. Tous les grands prix sur Facebook, page News F1. Well, basically, uh, through my father, as he was more sport interested, and uh, I used to go with him to Formula One races, uh, and that's where I really got interested in motorsport. After that, we uh, we bought a go kart, and uh, like all the others started from karting, and then uh, went on from there. Uh, After being a runner on uh, Formula Three, you in Formula One with Jaguar, with Mark Webber. Uh, what was your relationship with him? Very good, actually. Uh, I mean, I came into the team like uh, as a very young uh, guy, very young driver. Mark was already back then uh, established in Formula One and uh, had a good name in Formula One. And he was actually uh, quite helpful to me uh, as long as I wasn't faster than him. But uh, we had a very good relationship. We did a lot of training together, and uh, still up to now, uh, a good relationship with him. And, uh, was, uh, was definitely a good help for me to have an open uh, teammate uh, for the first team of Formula 1. You scored your first points on the Belgian Grand Prix. Uh, how did you feel when you threw the line? That was great. Actually, back then uh, it was more difficult to score points because only the first six uh, uh, positions uh, yeah. got actually points. So we finished six and uh, not only was my first points, we also moved up uh, one position in the Constructors' Championship, which was very uh, important for the team, obviously. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, it's very tough for a young driver back then to score the first points. And when you have it, it's uh, kind of uh, some pressure uh, goes off. It's not going to be it, well, Definitely for our team, uh, we didn't have the car obviously to fight for wins. So every time we got the points, it was for us like a problem. In 2005, Jaguar uh, became a Red Bull. Does the fact of having been uh, the most trained team uh, same nationality as you, was an extra pressure? Not really. Uh, I mean, I was supported uh, by Red Bull through all my career from go-karting uh, up until uh, uh, Formula 1. So Red Bull actually made it happen for me to get out of Formula 1. And uh, obviously then they started to have their own team. So uh, in Austria it was much pressure, more pressure, uh, but uh, the rest of the world or in England where the team was crazy, it didn't matter. Because in the end of 2006, uh, uh, I didn't feel that my Formula 1 career was over and I was just clearly uh, and simply just wanted to stay in Formula 1. That's why I turned down the offer from Red Bull to go to Champ Cup and uh, uh, wanted to stay in Formula 1. You returned in Formula 1 four years later uh, with uh, Espana, with Cynthia. <coughs> uh, what do you find the positive uh, in, the, in that year? In 2010, uh, I mean, it, it, it wasn't. Uh, it was a very, very difficult uh, situation, really. Uh, it was great to be to drive again, but on the other hand, uh, we had a you know very, very small budget. The car wasn't fast, uh, so there was no way that uh, we could finish anywhere in in a good position. Uh, so as a, ultimately as a race driver, uh, that was not my target and it was not fun in the end. That's uh, why at the end of 2010 I then also retired from, uh, from, from, from the fun and, and looked for other options uh, like the more. I mean in the meantime, uh, uh, 2008 and I was uh, official test, uh, test driver and reserve driver for BMW Sauber. And next to that, uh, I did uh, Le Mans with Peugeot. And that whole program that was uh, was really great. Do you follow other championships like uh, GP2 or Formula 3? Well, you try. Definitely, you follow. You know what's going on, but uh, I don't follow it closely. Watch the race. No, I don't have Sky Sports. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, for you, what are the next three drivers? to access in Formula 1? With the most money. Yeah. Just, like that, just with the talent for you. Look, there's something going wrong at the moment with Formula 1 and it's not about the talent, uh, yeah. it's more about the money and that's uh, all you can say. Um, let's talk about the, this season. Uh, is the Formula 1 still interesting? Um, no, it's not as interesting as it is. 
used to be and uh, I think everybody can see that and uh, something has to change to make it more attractive to the fans again. Uh, but personally I still watch Formula 1 races because I know a lot of people, I was involved myself so uh, if you have been involved it's still, it's still interesting to follow it. Coming back to you, uh, what will uh, the best memory of your career? Uh, definitely one of the first memories was winning the Formula 3 Marlboro Masters uh, in Sanford. Uh, that was my first big, big victory uh, and uh, obviously that stays in my memory also. The, uh, like in, in China in Formula 1, uh, best uh, results in Formula 1, finishing P5, those kind of moments always stay in your head but then also Finishing on the podium in Le Mans in my first year uh, was special, and uh, has been some great memories. Um, that, <coughs> is that there is uh, something that you regret in your career? Not really, because you cannot turn the clock backwards. It's oh. not possible in your you life. Want, so, if you want to change something, not really. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this hard but I'm very happy that I'm here now racing back this year. So, all good so far. And from the, the Formula One, uh, what do you think about Ferrari uh, with Vettel and uh, the car with Alonso and uh, first first up and first up? Um, well, for for Vettel, it made sense to make a move because he was not happy and, uh, at Red Bull last year and he needed new motivation, and that clearly gives him Ferrari. You can see the smile on his face this year. Yeah. He's doing well, so he did everything right there. Alonso, Alonso wasn't happy in Ferrari, so he needed to do a change as well. And of course, he's facing one year or maybe two years of difficult years at McLaren. But uh, at, uh, at, uh, at the end, I'm thinking Honda will put all the effort in to be successful. So actually, I really think it would be the right choice. He just needs to be patient. And for Verstappen, you can clearly see that he has a great, great talent. And uh, let's see in Australia, he's doing well. I don't, don't see any problems for him. Why he should be in Formula One. What question can we do in 10 years? Uh, in 10 years, I will be uh, 42, so uh, I can still race in Le Mans. Who knows? Hopefully, I have already uh, a Le Mans win uh, under my belt. Yeah. Which team? The fastest car. Yeah. The team which has the fastest car. Can I answer my question? I have to, do, to, to give you this. Uh, it's a letter written by one of your biggest fans. Uh, and can you read it and uh, tell you, uh, tell on the camera, what do you think about that? Read all that? Yeah. If you have I have to do all that. That's too much. Yeah. Next time. Okay. It's a. Uh, what you can do is to try to find a fun club, French. Yeah, yeah. I can say thank you very much for the letter. Uh, appreciate it. So you have something done. Huh? Okay. Thank you. Tous les grands prix sur Facebook, page News FM.